Hush-ups are a phenomenon that is often avoided and in return forgotten. Just as a reminder, a sweatshop is a shop or factory where the employees are paid a very low wage, work for very long hours, and in poor working conditions. The most common products made in sweatshops are clothing, shoes, rugs, toys, chocolate, bananas, and coffee, all of which most of us purchase. Most sweatshops are in less developed countries such as Bangladesh, Turkey, Cambodia, and Indonesia. However, it is not to say that they do not exist in North America and European countries. It is hard to obtain solid statistics on the amount of people in factories that work or are considered to be sweatshops because they are facilitated without the knowledge of the government in developed countries. However, there have been many case studies and events that have occurred that reveal popular franchises that rely on sweatshops for their production. Such franchises include Nike, Disney, Walmart, and Gap. The workers employed in these factories are in most cases vulnerable to make money in order to survive in this money-dependent world. Women and children are subjected to the poor working conditions and are exposed to chemicals unsafe machines and unthinkable labor without proper equipment. Is this ethically acceptable? Don't all humans have the right to a safe working environment? Is it even ethical to have children work for us at a young age? We need to step beyond our bubble of the good in the world and realize that we can't continue on with indirectly promoting child labor or even considering the working conditions of these people. Sweatshops still exist due to the argument that it has economic benefits for our world. Fires are the most common disaster that occurs in sweatshops. Bangladesh is the second largest exporter of clothing as discussed in the New York Times and has had many known fire collapses of the factories. The Clean Clothes campaign discloses that 50% of the popular fashion brand H&M suppliers are in absence of safe fire exits in Bangladesh. This is a very high percentage given the fact that it is only for one clothing brand in one country. Some may think that sweatshops help to produce a sustainable economy, but if the debts increase and the safety measures do not improve, we would be creating an unsustainable environment and society. If the amount of safety disasters such as fires and chemical intoxication continue, we will only be producing more pollution and in a way destroying parts of our world. We can't even blame the stores itself for the use of sweatshops because they aren't directly supplied from the factories. Even if it is known, we as consumers of these products have let the economy continue with the use of these shops and create the demand for it. Therefore, we need to realize what is happening in our current society and perhaps just start with making small improvements that will benefit the workers in terms of safety and ethically just opportunities.